I'm obviously black, so... Um... Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit biased here because I've known Glenn since school and um, we used to like cheat on our English test together and uh, Jermaine obviously from the ends and if you don't know his face, I mean Google, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Guys, now I can go on and on and on about how much I love Extra Man and what you've done but I'm going to let you guys, the creators, say what you have to say. So tell me first, who is Extra Man? To speak to the English major. Oh shit, the English oh. major. <laughs> who is Extra Man, Chloe? So Extra Man is Raymond Trust. He's an ex-Olympic gold medalist turned superhero after being shot by a police officer. He loses his ability to walk and his son. But his beautiful wife is a robotics genius and she creates a super suit out of alien technology called the Extra. The exoskeletal xenomorphic tactical reconnaissance armor. And he becomes... Extra man. Extra doesn't even just, it's not just a word. It actually stands for something. Do you know what I mean? Now, bro, talk me through the art process because we are surrounded by so many other comic book artists here right now. But there's something about Extra Man that stands out. I can't put words to describe it, right? <laughs> what is it? How do you put your, your finger on the pen and on the iPad? And how, how do you come out with this stuff? Bro, I'm just a huge fan of Bruce Tim, obviously Jim Lee, um, Joe Mad, and I flood my brain with nothing but goodness. So goodness. With that, <laughs> <laughs> so with that, the outcome can only be of a certain standard. And obviously the intent is for it to be animated one day. So with every brush stroke and with every color or whatever, you're kind of always envisioning that animated series and that movie. So yeah, that's basically it, man. I'm just a huge fan of great artists. And thankfully you can kind of see a little bit of that come through. A hundred percent, man, hundred percent. And the one thing I like about Extra Man, cause I went to your uh, comic book launch and you had an immersive four screen thing going on. It was crazy. Like I didn't know where to look, but one thing that stood out to me was the fact that he is a black British superhero. And I think, it, I believe it was in your TikTok, right? On the Extra yeah. Man TikTok, you asked everyone, name a black British superhero, and no one could do it. I couldn't do it. Nope. I started thinking Falcon, Nick Fury, hold on, they're American. And I was just like, what? British superhero at all? Like, I couldn't think of any. Like, what was the motive behind that? Um, well, I just figured that we need our own Superman, mm. first of all. I'm obviously black, so... Um, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> so I kind of just wanted, wanted to see, see myself within the comic mm. book pages. I have nephews that I'd love them to see themselves in it. And obviously when you look at the classic teams, X-Men, Avengers, mm. um, Fantastic Four and Justice League, majority of them are Caucasian. So um, just adding a little bit of seasoning to the thing, yeah. basically. Obviously Extra Man is the name of one superhero. Mm. So the name of your comic book brand is Kindred Comics, right? Kindred Comics, man. Yeah. Kindred Comics. So am I sensing like a bigger universe in the making? 100%. We made sure we thought about the future beforehand. Like We're already pages and books ahead of where we are in the story here. Mm. We want to make sure that we can drop the Easter eggs, the things that people love, to make sure that when you go back, you start spotting things like there's an alien language in this book that at some point you'll be able to decipher. Wait, hold on, wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait. There's, an, <laughs> there's an alien language. How do, you, how do you even come up with an alien language? Yeah, this brain's like, brain's like Jermaine. <laughs> Because I got a feeling you just type stuff on, on iPhone and you just let the correct do its thing or not do its nah, thing. And then... I literally had to draw out each letter, each letter of the alien alphabet. From like A to Z? Like... From A to Z, bro. Numbers wow. and everything. So can you actually speak this alien language now that you've written we it? We can't speak it. You haven't actually <laughs> uh, <laughs> haven't given it the accent, it the accent okay. and, and the, the um, phonetics yet. But yeah, once, once you get further down the line, people will be able to go back to the first issues and be like, wow, that's what they said. That's what's said there. And that's what's on the screen. Obviously... Journey's the only person who, who knows how to read it mm. fluently. I love that. And I, and I know you're a big fan of Superman. Yeah. And I know you're a big fan of like Krypton and everything. I'm, I'm even wearing this special yeah, edition yeah, Superman top. Bro, you, you can't buy this anyway. But I know that's where it comes from. So going back to the Kindred, is it a Kindred universe or is it the Extraverse? Extraverse. The Extraverse is what we're, what we're calling it. Going back to that, so obviously on Corner Shop Network and myself, I champion ethnicity mm. in all areas. Mainly film, mainly TV, but in all areas. Is that something you guys are focused on for the extraverse and the characters moving forward? I think it's pretty seamless and it's not something that, you know, is forced down the throat, yeah, 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 you yeah. get me? It's just creating a world which is actually reality. There are so many ethnicities and, and, and people of color working within the industry, within the world, like we come across people every day. So it's just about not whitewashing our universe, mm. uh, giving fans a sense of reality within the book 
So you never really feel like um, any of the characters are forced upon you yeah, yeah, yeah. or it's any type of hidden agenda or whatever. It just is. It's the future as well. So eventually everyone's going to be mixed race. So it's <laughs> like... I love that. It's the future. We're coming for you. <laughs> now, I'm going to throw the same question to you, Glenn, because like, obviously, as I know, you're a black artist. It's natural for you to want to champion your, your background. Mm. Look, I'm a South Asian person. I'm, it's natural for me to want to push you know, the background I'm from. What about you, Glenn? Like, why is it important to you? Yeah, I think for me, growing up in, in South London, being surrounded by uh, black excellence, I can say I was brought up with uh, you know, people in my life that were you know, iconic to me, but also like peers, role models, whether it be in dance, whether it be at school, whether it be friends like yourself growing up, like, I was surrounded by that, so it's what I know, and culturally, it's something that I, I feel has been important to me becoming who I am today, and me understanding the world, and understanding the people around me, and seeing the world for what it actually is. And that's why I feel like I can tell the story the same way, and I have the same passion. And obviously, again, he's, he's going through something where he's now lost the ability to walk, and he's become a disabled man, and that's something that's close to home for me. Mm. My cousin was in a wheelchair and spent his, his life um, dealing with that and, and that for me is really important as well to, to tell that story of that struggle between him you know feeling like he can be everything and be thing and dealing with being an Olympian and losing that you know and that struggle as well so there's a lot of a lot of things about his character as well as him being black that I feel is really important for the world to know and, mm. and I can tell it from my side and, and understand it from that side as well I love that you know what the difference is with this comic I've seen that you guys put not only just put your heart into this there's there's experiences from your own lives that I'm feeling that you actually, it's almost like you just have a creative vomit and you put it all into this character. 100%. I was actually talking to someone just a minute ago just about if we do have an idea, it's such a freeing feeling being able to be like, oh, we just call it that then. Mm. And not have to answer to anyone between like, there's, there's, we're always on the same page, what majority of the time, 99.9.997. <laughs> Point zero zero, <laughs> like oh, the alien language coming yeah, out. <laughs> We're definitely on the same page majority of the time. So basically, yeah, it's kind of it's been a seamless creative process. Um, lastly, what can we expect next, man? Other than extra man, is there any characters we're gonna see soon? Anything you could tease? Oh, um, there's a character at the end of issue two, which is gonna be like a mainstay. Yeah, what you're about to purchase. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. And that might be, you know someone he's going to be buddying up with um, nice. quite frequently yeah so justice league avengers style i mean uh, but... Whoa, okay okay anything you want to add glenn nah same thing like i said you got to read the issues issue two i think after you've read it yeah. you're going to understand that question okay. now you're going to be like okay cool. All right. and you're um, going to realize you're going to start seeing the bigger picture on where we're heading i'm so proud of you you've got two issues out right so this yeah. is issue number one so i got this on the kickstarter campaign um and then i got them to sign it as well i'm about to buy my issue number two I, I don't want no spoilers i've been telling them like just because i'm your boy i don't want no pdf like <laughs> early copy i want to be a customer so i'm going to yeah. buy my copy today i want original oh look at that it's, it's all wrapped in <laughs> thing for me. would you like a bag sir i would love a bag right is there a, is there a signed copy can i get a signed copy yeah, it's more expensive. It's, like, uh, it's 15 for the sign, 8 for the normal. What are you saying? I'm going to go for signed. I'm yeah. going to go for signed, man, because yeah. obviously one day I want to sell it, innit? Do you know what I mean? It's going to be worth a lot of money, do you know what I'm saying? Money. Like, cost of living crisis is crisis. In. That's it. Sign it like you've never signed before. Oh! Oh! You can tell he's the artist. Yeah, damn. I'm about to come with my little. No, he had it. Nice, nice. Look at that. Look at that. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> All right, let's, let's get you bag and boarded. That's going straight onto the comic book shelf at home. Watch out. Oh, look at that. Treated with care. Oh, right in the bag. You ready, my friend? Nice. Oh, I cannot wait to go home and read this. Yeah. Boys. Oh, 100%, 100%, bro. I'll give you all my feedback. Enough love, man. Enough love, bro. He's the man, man. He's a vigilant. Somebody told me that you need a saving So there can be no delay I'm on the way mm -hmm, yeah. Everything I can do is gonna need explaining